welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Uh, we're going to run this one back because we had some audio issues, so we're going to try to get this one right this time so it's a little bit better sounding and more understandable. Uh, in this video here, we're going to show you the process for removing and installing the cutting height sensor board right here. And um, yes, 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 I know it looks pretty simple, but there's a few things you need to know. So we'll start right out with uh, removing the wires because that's the first thing you got to do. The red wire and the black wire, just unplug them move them to the side, then your yellow wiring harness here that goes back to your main board, you want to disconnect that. Now, you want to remove the circuit board here, you got to remove this screw right here. If you're doing anything with the cutting height mechanism itself, you always have to remove this circuit board before you would remove any of this. That's a big must, and we'll show you why once we take this out. So to remove this screw, I'm going to repeat what I keep repeating over and over and over again, a T20 Torx head screwdriver. Not a cordless impact, not a cordless drill, not a cordless screwdriver, just a manual screwdriver or T-handle. Remove that because we want to actually be able to reuse those threads that are in that plastic lower chassis and not just rip them out with a screw. So remove the screw, remove the holder, set them aside. Now your circuit board, grab it here by the white plug, that way you don't touch anything or mess anything up. And you just kind of want to pull that out there and, and then uh, lift up on it at an angle like that. And there you go. It is out of there. So now if you're going to do anything with your cutting height uh, mechanism here, you can remove it. But you want to make sure to have this all back in place before you put your circuit board back in there. And the reason for that is your cutting mechanism right in here is this assembly. And it has these blades on there that go around, and that's what indicates what height the mower is at because these will pass or I'm sorry what cut what what height the cutting motor is at because these will pass through the sensors on the board like that so what happens is these these uh, notches right here are in between the sensors and if you try to just remove that with this board still in there this is going to yank up on the board and it's going to mangle these sensors up and ruin that board so that's why you want to make sure the board is out of there first, then remove that. Then you want to make sure that this is all back down in there before you put your board back in. So we have all that together. We're just going to put our board back in. Same process as when you took it out. Just going to reverse it. You're going to just slide the board in there until you get to the, uh, the notch here and your lower chassis. Then you're going to put the plastic clip back over the circuit board and the screw to hold that that clip in there which holds the board in there but uh, the important thing here when you're putting a screw in again screwdriver t-handle no cordless screwdrivers no cordless impacts no cordless drills and you want to turn the screw counterclockwise you should do this anytime you're putting a metal screw into something plastic you turn it backwards you can hear it pop like that and that means that it has lined itself back up and you just turn it right back down in there and you I've done this successfully without ruining your threads as long as you don't go hog wild on tightening this down with the screwdriver. Um, the issue is we get a lot of these motors in for repair and somebody has used some kind of cordless power tool on there and they just put that screw where it's close and just right down in, mangle the threads all up. So you can remove that screw like maybe once or twice, maybe three times at the most before the threads are just completely worn out. This way you can do it over and over and over again if you have to. So, um, Next step, obviously, is just the last one here for this. We just plug our wires back in. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, if you need to replace your cutting height sensor board, or any of these parts here for your cutting system, uh, best place to go is our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Go there. You can find all kinds of parts, accessories, new auto mowers, um, technical support. If you can't find what you're looking for, send us an email. Info at roboticmowerservices.com or tech support at roboticmowerservices.com. That's going to do it for this video here. Thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel.